It's Sunday, November the 20th, so this is going to be pretty hot off the presses when y'all see this. But I was so impressed with Clayton. Today, Clayton came over and drove his truck, which he's been working on for over a year now. He was in a wreck. They demolished his front end, his truck, and he's been working on it, and he's redone it, and he drove it over today, and he's so proud of it. But it looks beautiful. I'm totally impressed with it. It's got the whole front end done and painted beautifully. And uh, I don't know anything about cars. But that's why I have to give you this visual picture. But he's got this really wide bed here. This he uses to haul things. It's part of his business. And uh, see how big it is? And I asked him how he managed to get this thing. I guess they had a lift and they, they got it from a junkyard. And he he's installed it on the back of his cab. And now he's got a really powerful uh, vehicle to pull things with. It runs on diesel. And this is parked right in the front of my house. Not in the front, but it's in the across the street from the front of my house in the neighbor's parking lot. Not it's not the neighbors, it's public property. But anyway, this is Sunday morning and this is what we do. Clayton comes over and he is now working on the concrete in the back. We're trying to build a concrete wall. And I was telling y'all about how we work every Sunday. Well, see, my yard, the front, this is the front, and the weeds grow so prolifically, and I don't like to use any of the uh, chemicals, so I'm constantly weeding. And here's what I have to do this morning. This is the day before I leave for Hawaii, and I'm still working. So I'm playing, I'm working now and trying to pull all the weeds out here and I've started already so here's little piles here little piles there but I've got to get the leaves all raked up and try to do what I can within a couple of hours because my back doesn't last longer than that and this this is only one side this is by the mailbox and the weeds just grow just grow I weeded after I got back from Seattle in, on October the 3rd. This is a month and a half ago and it's grow, overgrown again. So I'm going to try to get these cleaned up. The next thing is I want to take a picture. Clayton is going to work on the, he's working on the concrete walk and he's going to clean it up today and so that I can take pictures of it to show you all how it's going to look. Okay, Clayton has cleaned up. He's got four concrete blocks that now, that now see this step here is what Clayton was concerned about because there was gravel in it. It was deep, so he's brought the concrete blocks up um, so that it's not such a big drop off. And, uh, he said he was mainly concerned that I was going to fall one day, hurt myself on the gravel. But I didn't see any problem with it, but it looks nice now. And uh, it's going to be painted. And uh, so, I mean, let me start from scratch, because this video, I'm making this for Clayton uh, family to see what he's done. Um, this is my house, and he's been working and doing my maintenance all these years that I've lived here. So now he's, see he built this fence that goes all the way down the side. The house is long and narrow and we've had problems with this particular side of the house ever since we moved in because these plants are uncontrollable. And they're beautiful, these bleeding hearts. But they grow wild and they they 
they damaged the fence. They actually tore my fence up. I had to have the fence replaced. And uh, so now what Clayton done is got this concrete slabs and he made a mistake when he first started. He did four in one day, which was way too much. And consequently, it doesn't uh, look as good, but he said it will whenever he paints it and finishes it. These last two, uh, the two that he just did in the last couple of weeks, taking his time and looks a lot better. And so he was going to do this concrete all the way down to the end of the yard, all the way down there, and I thought it was way too much work. And I didn't need that, so we just moved, I had, having him move these blocks over to this side. And the reason we're doing this is because of the erosion. When it rains, uh, there was a lot of dirt here, and the dirt has eroded and washes underneath the fence and goes out into the alley. So he's trying to uh, save the yard, really, and protect. So now what he's doing is transferring the plants over to next to the house and moving the walkway to the right. And I, I like three blocks, so I'm gonna have to purchase some more blocks. And we can make a wider walkway on this side. And it looks like it's gonna be really nice. Um, it's been a lot of work. We work every Sunday in the yard trying to maintain this property. So, this is some of his handiwork thought everybody would like to see what he's done with this house.